I want you right now to prepare your communion elements. We're going to worship the Lord, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to join with you as we come together in Holy Communion. And we're going to declare something. That's why I left that last seat. We're going to declare the rights and the privileges of our blood covenant with Jesus, Yeshua the Christ. His blood lives. His blood still speaks. His blood still heals, delivers, protects you. So I want you to be encouraged. Let's worship the Lord. I'll be back to receive together. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary. Oh, it's the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will of the blood of Jesus. I want you just to say that, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is upon me, upon my life. Amen. Praise God. Well, Jesus taught us something. While they're working up vaccines and antidotes and cures, we pray for God's mercy and his wisdom to be released to the medical community. But I want you to know this right here and this right here is greater than any vaccine or medicine that exists. This is the meal that heals. It's the meal that delivers. Amen. It's the meal that protects. And Jesus said, he that eats my flesh and drinks my blood has my life in them. This right here, I don't know how it works, but I just know Jesus doesn't lie. And he said if we eat of his body and drink of his blood, that we would have his life, the God kind of life. Jesus didn't walk around sick, didn't walk around diseased, didn't walk around with oppression, depression, possession. Come on. He walked around where the devil couldn't touch him because he was full of the life of God. I want us to take that which he said, this is my body. And the night in which he was betrayed, he broke it. He said, take and eat, for this is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord, we receive your body 
and we receive your life. To all my flesh, we receive the Lamb for my life, but for my house. Lord, I receive this communion, this supper. I receive the Lamb for this house. And those who say, you're my pastor, I declare that the blood of Jesus and all the rights of this covenant is then extended to you. It works that you're healed, you're delivered, you're protected, you're rescued. No harm or evil, no plague, no pestilence can come near your dwelling. On the same night he was betrayed, he took of the cup and he said, take and drink, for this is the cup of the New Testament in my blood. And as often as you do this, you do show the Lord's death until he comes. Wow, there's power, power, wonderful work in power. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus. And we thank you for all the rights and privileges of our blood covenant. We are sealed in that blood. This covenant is in force as we drink in remembrance and celebration of thy victory, which is our victory. Amen. Well, isn't that good? You can do that as often as you want, every hour, every day.